That's what it says. Then, do you think... Well, we won't know if we don't open it. <laughs> There's so, a dead man. There's so just randomly a dead Chotomate. man. Chotomate. And he looks like the creepy little guy from Persona like 4. What? Wait, what? Who? What? There's Zero a, had a stroke, oh no! There's another guy on this boat? Zero had a stroke, the games aren't being run by anyone anymore, what are we gonna do? It was just- it really just took him out of him, he was just like this disgruntled captain of this ship, and he never got to use his ship anymore, he's like, I'm gonna make it into a murder game and kidnap children! But then some of the children grew up, and then he put them on here and he just working on these really expensive games everywhere, and it took so long, and it just took so much work, and he fucking like just passed out, and he's dead, and- It's even the Tower of TVs from Persona, I was right! What? Also, fuck you, it is the AV club. <laughs> no, that's the captain's quarters, you the stupid. Video. Look at the videos. That's in the captain's quarters. Whatever, he's the leader of the AV club. <laughs> Look at the No, videos. he's just the leader of the V club, there's no audio. <laughs> the, the A or V club. <laughs> Why has he got... wait. There's, there's blood under him. What? And he's got blood under his nails, too. Maybe he wrote LLR. <laughs> This guy come Maybe he wrote on the wall with his blood. Was he like the, the is he the original Nonary Games player? He's yeah, been here this entire time. Been, yeah, it's from the previous wave. Like it, we're he actually Zero just keeps putting people through this over and over again. Forgot to clean one of them up. It's just like portal testing. Yeah, they just keep testing the the puzzles and see how far they get until they die. <laughs> also, are we just a color inverted Marty McFly? Don't talk about things. Look at that fucking. Don't talk about things look beyond at the clothes, your comprehension. Look at the clothes we're wearing right now. Also, look at the angle we're all standing at. Yeah, I'm falling over. Cause like the background's 3D, and the picture, this you know, this dead guy makes sense. Whoa, on it, we are huge compared to. Yeah, but we're not. We're no, clearly look added. How, look how gargantuan Ace is, cause we're like standing so much closer to him that our arm is reaching back, but still in front of his arm, and yet he's like four feet taller than us. Yeah, he is huge. I think they, f I think they screwed up on the art, uh, not the drawing itself, but I think our, I think that he's supposed to be on a higher layer than us, and our arm is supposed to be behind him, so the perspective works. Because then it's like, oh, we're behind him, that's why we're so small. Yes. But they put us in front of him, so now it looks like he's gargantuan because he's so far back, yet somehow so much taller than us. But our foot is like, our foot is behind him. No, it looks like our, f it looks like we're floating above the floor a little bit. Yeah, most likely. Maybe. Because here's the thing, they drew this- I didn't this. realize Clover was as tall as us. Yeah, we- She's how, like behind Ace, but somehow tall as tall is as she Ace? is. To Ace is huge, apparently. Ace is like a fucking How tall giant. is Ace? He's Mega Man. Alright, let's- All right. Who's this dead guy? Yeah. Uh, not again. Oh, we run into so many dead old people. Damn, Starts getting old after a while. People. No, wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. No. How long do you think he's been here? <laughs> uh, no. Nope, those eyes are anime for dead. <laughs> also, if anybody had those kind of eyes, oh, he's got the, he's got a wrist watch. Oh. Yeah. This could be interesting. We could have access to another number if it works that way. Wait, is he? Wait, I thought they fall off when you die. Is he? Did they say they fall off when they die? Cause they're still on. We don't have any more numbers to give out, though. What if he's also a nine? What if he's number two? What if he? What if we take off his mask and he's a snake? <laughs> That's why his eyes are white because he's blind. <laughs> he is wearing a, a a shirt similar to snakes. Oh yeah, kind of. Cause it's just captain clothes. Yeah. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. Look at the These body. Wounds. Uh, I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. I swear! <laughs> I... <laughs> There's an axe right there! <laughs> How did we not notice the axe first? <laughs> I just don't even... <laughs> you know? I just don't even understand. <laughs> oh, Junpei-kun! <laughs> well, uh, here's a good sign, Keith. We now know what the murder weapon was. Uh, in the other room, so and the axe for the yellow submarine. So, you, you think yeah. someone found the axe and just started hacking everybody yeah. up? There's no emancipation grid. You can just take it with you. 
important. They just took it with them, and they just, like, they probably, everyone probably even knew they had it. It's like, we should take this with us in case it comes in handy. We could probably like, break a chain or something, and then you start killing everybody. As we talked about it like they might need to reach. That's an axe. Yeah. But who? These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was zero? Bracelet zero. What? Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait. Hey, uh, trick question. How many doors can you open? <laughs> he just adds on to any group without affecting the number. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that means two people can escape. If somebody had zero with them, then you could just be four and five and escape. <laughs> because you only need two two numbers plus, plus plus the bracelet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can we get it off of them? That means like say two and seven could escape together, or three and six By could the escape way, together. It's still powered. Yeah. So they stay on when you're dead, I guess. Da 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 da. So does it fall off? I don't know. <laughs> we have an Why axe. Why are you hitting? So we have. It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I am a little concerned by everyone's disregard of bodies. Yeah, we're just gonna move on. We're not, we're not even gonna try to take the wrist watch off. We don't try anything. Like, that, that might be useful. Yeah, hell, take his shit. He might have stuff on him. Or an axe, like take the axe. His body doesn't show up on this camera. Huh. We're standing on his body right now. He's just invisible right now? No, we're, he's right below us. Yeah, like we're perfectly not facing where we can see him. Huh. There's a camera? Uh, what if it was like, find a way out, and then I went back into the, v cl the A club, and then it's like, you did it. <laughs> that was all you had to do. Camera. Pointing at the door. A camcorder. It looks like it's pointed at the door. Well, the power's on. Why would somebody want to videotape a door? Because <laughs> they're typing a code into it, stupid head. I think this kind of camera records to a hard drive. But it doesn't look like this one's recording anything. What do you mean? It's just sending whatever it sees to something. What does it see? The door. Do we have a combination lock? Do we know how many digits? Control panel for electronic lock. I guess I've got to put in a passcode. I don't think... it's just about numbers. There's a hole in the bottom of it, like right here. I think you need to put a key in it first. Oh, okay. Let's find a key. Let's try the door, like, cause, like we're not stupid people. So this is the exit, huh? Don't... Does, uh, don't even really have to try this door to know that it's locked. Just mm. try it though anyway, yeah. stupid, because your life depends on it. You should probably try everything. <laughs> try every door. I knew it. Okay, there we go. He did try it. Thank God. Just try it then, instead of being like, I don't have to try it, I know better. Because <laughs> that's the type of shit that led to everyone standing in front of an automatic door and be like, We're all gonna die! <laughs> like, just try the door. It's like, we're all gonna die! There's blood on the chair. Do you think this was the dead guys? Yeah, probably. He's got a wristwatch that says zero on it. He probably wasn't from here. Uh, it's... Why would he have a zero wristwatch if this was his chair? It's just a chair. No one owns a chair. I mean, well, you can own chairs, Andrew. But I'm saying, like, <laughs> it's on... A, but it's on a cruise boat. Music box! No one owns a, a, a chair on a cruise boat. It's just fucking... Oh, it's one of those old music boxes. How about we wind it up? Why does it sound like that? Is it broken? The pins on the cylinder are shaped all weird. I don't think those are pins. It looks like someone put something else on top of it. I think we're gonna have to take it apart to figure out what's going on, don't you? All right, so I need to take it apart and I'll get like a, probably a key, frankly. Yeah. Let's just, let's just be frank, it's usually a key. What a hassle. A small table. It's a lamp, but it doesn't turn on. I don't think there's anything special about it. So I guess Ace is just in the other room. My guess. A bed. There's nothing in it. But us. Nah. <laughs> Same drawer again? Oh what? my god. Let's deal with this. It's like some kind of code? There are four rows of numbers and letters. Oh, fuck. They all start with O and end with 8, F, N, or V, respectively. Maybe this has something to do with the number bases. 
New material's been added to the file screen. It's about number bases, y'all. Number, number bases. Number about number, number bases. Numerical system chart. Oh, yeah. 10 is base 10. It's written as A and hexadecimals. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> wow. Fuck right off. That's what, base 8? No. Is that base 9? Yeah, I don't know. Base is ba base ten is zero through nine, right? So it so if yeah. it ends at nine, it's base ten. So that mean if it eight ends at eight, that's base nine. Or this is laziness. Oh yeah, and, the, and F was hex, right? What was it? Wasn't X one through sixteen? I don't know hex code, but I thought we, I thought that she called that hex code when it went through the oh, first six letters. Yeah, it might have been hex. That's hexadecimal or something. It's probably a and something. And other stuff is names I don't even know the names of, but it's higher bases that go all the way to the letter V. Fuck. What? Press A? That's just this. A numerical system chart. Ten, uh, 10 in base 10 is written as A in hexadecimal. Therefore, 11 is B, 12 is C, and so on. This chart shows the rules for each numerical system. Okay. So it is just base 10. Yep. We need to find letters somewhere, I guess. That we might be able to decode. They're big brands. There's a bunch of weird buttons on here. They probably switch what you see on the screens. Do you know how to work this thing? Um... Why don't we just press one of these? Like, this one. Oh my god, it's zero. Well, I guess it does change the... What the hell is this? Huh. Z-E-R-O, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. Or he's giving you, you a think? puzzle. Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. Take his bracelet. Well, even if he wasn't one of us, there's no way that man could be Zero. Huh? Don't you get it? The letters that spell zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course, the bracelet with a zero on it. It's too obvious! <laughs> look, look, this is zero right here! This dead body is zero! <laughs> Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that. Uh... No, th that's not the point. So I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work, which makes me wonder. I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Huh? Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking around with a zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything Zero is supposed to be. Just like we did. Uh. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Too bad, suckers, this isn't Zero. Where's the real me then? See if you can catch me. He's like thinking in circles so hard, like faster than we ever have. <laughs> like this is what like is, yeah, some is, weird Junpei psychosis going on what right is now. What's happening? <laughs> it's the same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. In fiction stories, at least, I guess. That's really twisted, but it almost seems kind of childish. Oh my God! Are you saying Clover's so Clover Zero? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. All right, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? How would I know that? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is. Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? We gotta flip him over. How else are we gonna search his pockets? 
At least they're finally doing it. Yeah. Okay, uh, fine. Guess I'll do it. Literally should have been the first thing you do and not just like wander off like, what's yeah, this camera? Why don't oh, you do this now when, let's go back to the guy. Why don't you do this when Ace is here? Are they afraid we action. get bored about talking about the corpse? <laughs> they gotta like split it up over the episode. <laughs> like I do that sometimes when I'm reading codex entries. I'm like, oh, I read too many codex entries in a row. Let's do like a fight real quick, then do more. Yeah. It's like, but it's like, they're examining a corpse. It's the first corpse they found that's not from their group of nine. It's kind of important. It's like the most important corpse. Yeah. Also, I'm going to throw out an educated guess that that's the guy who owns the gigantic. Yeah, that makes sense. The uh, Archibald or yeah, whatever the, the guy, guy was called. The guy that robot it. Yeah. The Archduke. I don't remember who called him. <laughs> I can't think of his name. Here we go. <clears throat> huh? Hey, it fell off. It's the... Lastly, we have discussed how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the outside of the Mary's heart rate has fallen to zero, Oh god. So apparently apparently the bracelet will shut down but it won't lose its number, it'll just fall off. Yeah, it just like by shut way, down he means it unlocks. Yeah, cuz it seems not shut down and that there's clearly like a number still on it which seems to imply that maybe it still works on not on locks. Yeah. Otherwise why is it powered at all? Like you might as well just done power completely. Also we just looked at it a second ago on his wrist, right, where it fully was exposed. Like, wow, the zero, and they yeah. had like, didn't it have like no blood on it. Yeah, because it was that, under his sleeve. That's what stood out to me. Is there was no blood. Now there's tons of blood. I guess when he flipped him over, or he splattered the body on is the his blood. Blood still wet. I don't know. Huh. This man, he's dead, isn't he? We, we what? <laughs> didn't we just figure that out? <laughs> We ju we just had a big deal about we, that. We we we've established and re-established that he's dead, and now we're like, is he dead? There's like a fucking hatchet next to him. <laughs> and we checked his pulse already, and this thing fell off to confirm he's dead. Yeah, okay. Soon <sighs> pay. Writing. Huh? Like that that kind of moment's what we refer to when we tell people, like, the game has bad writing. Yeah. Like that doesn't mean it has bad characters or bad story or bad anything else. It's it does literally, have some of those. It's literally the terminology and like the actual language used to communicate the story is often bad. Yeah. <laughs> and it's superfluity, or it's the cycles it runs into, or, like, extraneous text, or contradictions, even, at, at times. It's, it's, it gets odd. No, it's just, I... I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. But you did, because he didn't have a pull... Okay. <laughs> if his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Wow, thanks game for putting us down for being the stupidest human alive on this ship. <laughs> we already know it, but now you have to reinforce it. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. What tipped you off, Junpei? The fucking blood? better than the other bodies we've seen, though. Yeah, because he hasn't blown you know? up. Like your brother, you know. Oh god, yeah, Junpei, don't refer to Snake's corpse right now. Jesus! Junpei, what's wrong with you? This guy's seriously an idiot. I don't I understand mean, how if he there can... there wasn't all this blood, he almost looked like he was still alive. What? What? <laughs> and the part where he's pale and dead yeah, and is that zombie the face of a? Mode. Yeah, is that the face of a living person where you're like, Aah! Yeah, that's just the pain of being alive. <laughs> Ah, oh, time for alimony. That's true. Every time I see pictures of people who are over a hundred, they just have their mouths gaping open. <laughs> so I guess the pain and suffering. I mean, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know. Dying from a bomb going off inside of you. I mean, that's just what the Junpei fuck is wrong Stop. with this person. Stop. I mean, for like... It's time to stop talking about Snake's death. Just like a few seconds ago, you were being super... Oh no, poor Clover. Hey, remember that one time that people exploded? <laughs> that was funny. 
This guy's way better off. Yeah, at least this guy didn't explode. What a great way to go, man. It must suck to explode. Ugh, good thing I don't know anybody who's ever exploded before. You know anybody who's ever exploded before, Clover? God, that would suck, wouldn't it? I would hate to be that guy. <laughs> but, you know, thankfully, neither of us know anybody who's ever exploded. <laughs> Some of Snake's bones went right through his skin. What the fuck? You literally went straight to Snake! You could have at least talked about Nine, or just not talked, but you're literally talking in detail about Snake's death to Clover. What's the fucking point of this? <laughs> and we're baffled that he has trouble figuring out, like, his relationship with June. <laughs> like, look at his- look how he talks to Clover! I'm just wondering, like, as- as a writer, you- oh, man. As a writer, you write this line for a particular reason. You write this because you you want to get a reaction. You want the Clover to have some type of reaction for some reason to lead into some kind of thing. They, they, they but, probably are, they're trying to try to they're probably trying to trigger a reaction from Clover without questioning how it makes Junpei look like an insane person or at yeah, least like. But like it doesn't make any sense why Junpei would say this. Like, you, you would get one sentence to this be like, oh, which he did a second ago. Like, yeah, they've already observed the idea of like getting cut off mid sentence by the realization of like, oh, somebody's like hurt by like emotionally yeah. by this. When this exact character did that like a minute ago with Clover at the door, where they're like, "Hey, Clover, look at the oh, hey, Clover," like that happened. But now he's talking about the corpse of her of her brother and how brutal and horrible his her his death must have been to her, and he's just. Powering through sentence after sentence yeah. and not and questioning anything he's doing. I'm like, what? It's been like five minutes since you were like a completely different person. And it's. This it is what's weird about his writing, like when he's suddenly ruthless all of a sudden and shit like yeah. that. I'm like, what, what is your character, Junpei? This makes me. You know what this does? This makes me feel like. It, it definitely makes me feel like we're not doing something right. Why? Because he's- oh, because whenever he has a weird out-of-character yeah. behavior, it means you're having a bad ending. <laughs> yeah, it always seems like- Because it reminds you of going through three, where it's like, what are you doing, Junpei? Yeah. Yeah, when, it, when he acts completely insane, it's because you're, you're, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, that's what, what we get for wanting to hang out with Ace. Yeah, so what do you, what do you guys want? I, I think the explosion must have thrown him against a wall or something. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. Did you just repeat yourself? Yeah. And said it twice. What did you just say? Oh, right. Uh, I am. He never I, said that to I'm her. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, the I really don't no. know what I was thinking. So I mean, you can't I, reel this back like Junpei Convenient. Like, oh, wow. I suddenly feel bad about talking about your brother's corpse in detail to you constantly because we haven't covered the fact that his arm is fake and that means that it couldn't have been his body. Also. I'm sorry. I want to apologize that, uh, I know you've been a little, what's the word? Bummed out since you found out <laughs> your brother was dead, but I apologize for bringing it up again in gruesome detail to you. But I hope that doesn't bum you out again. What the fuck is wrong with you, Junpei? You've been stuck with this dumb bitch who's been brooding for so Junpei, hours. Junpei knew about the arm, right? No. Who no. knew about the arm? We do, because we went, remember, Remember which, the, which path told us about the arm? Uh, the path that told us about the arm was going with Clover and Lotus, which Clover we didn't Lotus, do. Yeah. We went with June and Seven. But Clover and Lotus was our first path. No, our first path was, was with June, Santa, Lotus. Our second path. No, I mean our first. I mean our blind playthrough yes. that it ended. We that playthrough we went with Clover and Lotus and found out about the fake arm, right? Yes. Yeah, so we knew about the fake arm. So we found out about the fake arm. We talked arm, about this before. And then right after the fake arm, we then found out about uh, we found out about uh, about Snake's death. Yeah. And so, who went? Who discovered the body? We weren't there when they dis or uh, everyone else did. And then we, then Clover, I remember then Clover and Lotus when went we, dis we, disco we, we discovered the body, we left with June to go explore, and Seven, and was it Seven, Clover, and Lotus were all going through three to see what the last room was going to be, and yes. that's when they discovered the body? Yeah. So Lotus, but Lotus probably didn't hear the conversation about the arm, huh? I mean, she's only in the same exact room, but yeah, she probably didn't hear she it. She probably somehow didn't hear the conversation about the arm in the same room, because I was going to say, like, wouldn't she have noticed, but... 
I guess Clover would have not looked at the body because no, she she's did, freaking she, out. Yeah, she probably didn't look at the body. So nobody had a chance to notice yet. There's still like... Like, this is a part where the writing bend, bends over backwards to make a specific thing happen. When there are more elegant ways to have this happen. Yeah. which Such as just having Lotus also know about the arm. And then Lotus can make the discovery. Like, oh, this person's but actually we, this. But we, won't, like that. we wouldn't have been there for that. Yeah. We have to experience everything. You know what would have been a, a, a more tactical like, way to do that? Like this, would have been this, if she this, tried this. opening up about it. If she would have yeah. asked June or Junpei, like, is it, you know, like... I didn't really look at Snake's body. Was there like, you know, was there anything that kind of stood out to you like that? Like, yeah. going, we're going through this body right now. What if we find something and we go like, huh, that's kind of weird. I wonder why that happened. And, and Clover would go like, I wonder if there was anything about my brother's body that would that or, was like suspicious. Or they could have it in a better order because they could not reveal the arm back then. But then show, show the body, explain the broken bone thing, which they can't stop repeating, by the way, over and over again, the yeah. broken bone thing. Uh and then have this be the scene where we find out the, the like she reveals the uh, fake arm for the first time, and then in our head we're like, Arr! like oh my god, this is yeah. For this playthrough, this, it's our first time. Yeah, this, it's gonna be technically our first time this is about supposed it. to be our first time finding this out. <clears throat> but the way that but the way it's coming up doesn't make sense because we're being like we're talking about her brother's mangled corpse like an insane person that yeah. like like we're on the spectrum or something like we just have no idea how to process socially, and it's like. It's like when we were on our little break earlier, we talked about like how the writing, like it, it, it's it's right in line with what the writing did with uh, with what the writing did with June earlier, which is that we were we got locked in a freezer. So like the game has a background threat of like wow nine hours we're all gonna die. But aside from that, there's no normal. There's usually no threats in those scenarios. But we were locked in a freezer and we're all dying and we're all like oh my god we're gonna die from this instead of the bomb and better find our way out. And instead, instead, June is like, let me distract you with this incredibly long story about Ice Nine and a bunch of other stuff and mummies and things like that. I'm like, this is so not the time because we're all think we're going to die right now. Yeah. They did that. Like, they literally could have, like, there's, there's constantly things where they're just one step away from be, having a more elegant solution for the writing. Like, it could be that they just, like, escape from the thing and then, like, once they're recovering, they could be, like, laying down. They could both be, like, sitting with their back against, like, the stove that's off and stuff like that. Just, like, kitchen supplies. And, like, she, and she reminisces about this story that's related to the ice situation you were just in. Or, like, earlier, she just starts talking about mummies for no reason. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. But, like, they could have, like, say, encountered, like, a photo of the mummy. Like, oh, I know about this. And then she talks about the mummy. Like, and we talk about this because, like, Seven often has, like, story... Like, her his plot stuff normally makes sense on some level because at least, like... Wow, my amnesia is like breaking, and like I have this. Oh wow, I know where we are. This is the, this is the copy of the Titanic. Why do I know that? Well, as his amnesia goes away, you realize like it's because he probably researched the Titanic or was like doing a case on the on this Titanic, not the, the not Titanic, because those kids were missing and stuff like that. And it's like his revelations and moments make sense, but like in order to make these scenes with June and Clover happen, they do it by like doing the most forced thing. Yeah, but like only a, the slightest tweak to the writing could make the scene not crazy <laughs> it's almost like somebody it's like almost this game was written first with seven in mind yeah and was like all right there needs to be a guy who has amnesia like seven was the protagonist yeah and then like all of a sudden they're like oh but we need like eight other people and the guy was like shit uh let's just add eight other people yeah and they didn't have any ideas to why like how they would naturally exp like give away content but seven was just such a perfect way to do it that they gave like th they set up seven so well that all the other characters are like what do we do with I guess everybody June, else yeah, i guess june really likes mummies and titanic and it's like is that fit with her character oh somebody has to talk about it so, but like seven makes sense for everything because so the the trap we run into is that they're clearly setting up like plot twists and major stuff for later but they don't know how to incorporate it into the story. Yeah. So, like, every single room has one specific dialogue moment that's going to happen that's going to further the story. So, here's the part about the mummy. Here's the part about Ice Nine. Here's the part about uh, Snake uh, uh, Seven freeing children. Here's the part how I have teleconnect powers, maybe. And, like, every, that, every time that conversation is going to happen in those specific rooms... But they just had, in many cases, they just had no idea how to make it implement in anything. So half the time, they're just like, I don't know. Like, an actual line of dialogue was Lotus saying, like, I don't know. I just made up I just made up something to talk about to pass the time. Like, that's how little... The, that, that's, that's, the, that's where the writing flaw comes in, is that, like, it's not incorporated at all. 
And as a result, it, it's so forced when these moments happen that we're, that it makes us so brutally, like we become so brutally aware of when they're like laying the foundation for future twists and stuff because they're like, it is now the mandatory time to reveal this very weird, unrelated piece of information that's important, so we have yeah. to tell you. It's, and like, it's so unrelated that we know it's important. And that's, now we're that's like, thing. It, so now we're just like, oh, so we're like, there's gonna be a mummy, and she like woke up from Ice Nine or something, like she was frozen, and maybe she's zero, and like, yeah, like, like it, there's so many setups basically for those kinds all, of things. Yeah, all we know right now is like this ship has a mummy on it that yeah. mummy has the ability to not thaw unless it wants to and with, I guess. And with snake they were like snake snake the face is but look the face we can't recognize the face the face is broken and there's an arm his his arm's fake did you notice that his arm's fake there's a, bo- there's a bone breaking out of his arm a bone out of his arm you can't recognize his face funny how there's a bone out of his arm oh the number smashed on the watch by the way there's a bone out of his arm and like literally yeah. in this conversation just now junpei said it twice he did literally he said it back twice. to back he said it twice in a row as if like like how like they like like he needed Clover to I've, visualize the fact that there was a bone sticking out. Like he sounds like one of those people that was just so excited about something. He's like, no, 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 you don't understand. It literally glows red, and it's like, okay, I get the concept. You don't need to repeat it. It's not going to make me more hyped. Like he's doing, but, like he's doing the equivalent of like when I want you to make a, but we make, I want you to realize something during a let's play, so I look directly at you and repeat something I just said at yeah. you, and then you're like, oh. And you actually, you literally go, oh, oh. <laughs> like it's the exact thing you do. Uh, <laughs> so like, that's what we talk about when we talk about the writing being bad. Like the game can still be neat and it can still yeah, have cool stuff happen. It's but fine, like but... the writing is a nightmare, which sucks because it's a visual novel. And like, so you yeah. like you're, you're, the crux of your fucking genre is done badly. It yeah. really sucks. And it's not to say... And, like, like, Andrew plays visual novels yeah, on his channel. And it's not to say that, like, that's the thing I hate about 999, is that it's not to say this is a bad murder mystery. Like, I think it's a relatively good one. I like yeah. all the, the convenient twists. Like, the like if it turns we clearly, out... We clearly want to know what happens next, because we're yeah, constantly theorizing but, about everything. But, it's like, but like, and, like, the writing's a nightmare. Yeah, that's the problem. It's like, the idea that someone took Nine's body and threw it into room three, that's such a cool idea. Yeah. Why did you do it so badly? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many cool twists in this stuff, but you just didn't do it good. And that's the problem. You not do good, me not like game. <laughs> like why are you not? Why good not you be? And that's the problem. Nine nine nine. Like the idea that that's not snake has been so brutally obvious for the majority of the playthrough now for us that it's like, oh wow, the twist here it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is like, like imagine like like yeah. uh, right now our faces are that that picture that that meme of uh the uh, Star Trek the animated series of Kirk going. <gasps> Yeah. Like fake shock, yeah, the, Kirk. Like that's that's our faces the, right now. The first thing in my mind when she, with the moment that Clover was like, "Wait, say that again." I was, I had that nostalgic critic thing. Was like a twist. Ooh, it was a twist. <laughs> like I was like, "Oh no, is she going to reveal to us that maybe that's not Snake's it's body?" Time for a Shamalama ding dong yeah. scene. It, this whole thing feels like a Shyamalan thing, where it's yeah. like, "It's like, oh, you didn't see the body not being snakes," and it's like, I, "But I did." But you didn't. And oh it's god! Like, like when, pe- like for pe- like when people guessed, like when people guessed the twist of Village immediately, and then when it finally happened, like, yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it's going to feel like, right? We're going to yeah. see the ending of 999 we're going to go like, oh, oh my god, I didn't see that coming. Like people go after us because we theorize about stuff and they'll, then they say stuff like, you guessed the story, you stop trying to guess the story, you're going to spoil it for yourself. I'm like, that's what a mystery is. <laughs> that's literally what a mystery is. If you're, like, so, like, if we do guess it, it's because there's, like, there's almost no red herrings or no real dead ends. Like, it's literally, like... The only information you're given is like the framework for the answers. I'm just imagining. It's just so blatant because of how little there is. <laughs> just imagine like the fucking Zodiac killer. And he's like yeah. following the cops through their investigation. They're like, uh, "Have you seen a suspicious?" Stop theorizing. You're spoiling it. And it's like, like stop what? it. You're gonna spoil the Zodiac. Yeah, killers. you're gonna figure out who I am. It's like what? <laughs> What's going on? Why can't I detective? <laughs> <laughs> This would be the worst episode. Just renamed the movie Zodiac to Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> the spoiler Hunters. Like, who is a Zodiac killer? Don't talk about it. That's spoiling it. Like, you just need to know there's a mystery. And you need to be happy with it. 
Like, for all of, for all of that we do to try to solve who the killer is, it's more alarming that they don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the worst Detective Conan episode I've ever seen. <laughs> like, like, no one is focused on finding the killer. They're just like, ooh, mysteries. Yeah, all or, right. You could have enough, but like, what, what caused the mystery? I don't care. I need more mysteries. It's like, all right. This will be the funniest moment of the entire playthrough if the revelation we're about to have is not what we just said it will be. <laughs> like... It's like, what? oh yeah, that was his favorite arm. <laughs> 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 he loved his bone. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, wait a second, that was Snake's throwing arm. He'll never make the major leagues now. <laughs> and he's like, actually, I'm alive, but my face is fucked up now. I was the corpse, but I'm not dead. <laughs> the old man just is like, nyak, nyak, nyak. <laughs> I was Snake. <laughs> fucking go. Oh, we have so much fun with this series. What is this? We have more fun with this series than like the last several. Because <laughs> uh, this fucking game. I love this game. <laughs> this game is. I, I love... Well, you're in luck, Keith. There's two oh, more. I love playing this. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> the next one's supposed to have puzzles in it. Nine nine nine. Now with more puzzles. Because well, you didn't get any of those last we'll time. Make that one twice as long. <laughs> The third one is literally just nothing. It's a movie. It's like, oh, oh no. It was, a, it, that is a twist. I thought it was going to be a puzzle. If we go by the Kingdom Hearts HD Remix, uh, like, pattern, then the third one would just be a movie. Can I get, can I get, like, a Nonary Games 0. 0.5? <laughs> 1.5 HD Remix? Yeah. That's kind of what this is. I, I, but I don't, I like. It's just the first game with actually, features of the future games. Actually, 999 does feel like that, because you actually don't do much. You just let other people do it for you. <laughs> Like, Alright, let's, let's finally go. <sighs> fucking Jun... I forgot Junpei was trying to reel it back. Yeah, Junpei is like, whoa, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. dialogue. Uh, well, we're gonna get comments. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? That it exists? <laughs> arm? Yes, his left arm. You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but... I mean, I didn't... Didn't you see it too? Of course not! I could barely look at him! There's no but, way I was gonna see the details! But how did you know it was him? She didn't, which is the point. But I'm saying, it's such a yeah, counter- She's like, oh no, it's my- yeah, they, she It's such a conflicting issue. If she had literally looked at yeah, it- Like, on one like, hand, you don't want to see what ha what became of your brother, but on the other hand, if you don't look, you can't tell it's actually him. Yeah. Which, like, I feel like that's- yeah. I mean, everyone would respond to that differently, but I, at least some people- like, some people would probably not look, and some people would be, like, desperate to prove it's not them. Because I, they, I would they, imagine the, most people would be desperate, based on her understand, like, her personality, she would be like, no, 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 yeah, it can't be Some people would be him. so crushed by the very idea that they would, like, have, they would, like, not accept it as reality until it's proven. Yeah. Like, so, how, like, what, like, when somebody has, like, a family member go missing and they find a body, like, they they have to go identify it because they, they won't believe it's them until then? Yeah. Like, could you imagine you go to identify a body and it's like, okay, could you tell us that this is your child? And they just have their back turned, like, yeah, it's my child. No, no ma I, yeah. ma'am, I literally need you to look at it. Because this could, I could just be showing you a stack of sandwiches. Or it's, like, the opposite <laughs> problem from, like, a changeling when Angelina Jolie's missing child comes back and she's like, that's not my child. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fucked up movie. Are you sure it was his left arm? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like, I'm definitely yeah, sure. Yeah, we can confirm from this from this scene that doesn't tell us anything. You know, here's the thing that really upsets me now. What? At, at first, at first, I had this notion like, oh, I get it. You know, maybe they don't want to show things, but they just showed us a fucking dead guy along the. Oh, you didn't want to show us his body because we would have guessed it wasn't Snake immediately. Yeah. I get it now. Thanks for that. Because it would just look like a different person, probably. Yes. And he had a broken bone, right? What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me! Jesus, yeah, you could just- Yeah, he did. Uh, it was pretty bad, too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. <laughs> Let's say it more times. Clover? <sighs> What's wrong? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry if I said anything- Thank you. Huh? Or, what are you- I'm so glad my brother's actually Thank dead. Thank you so much, Junbei.
Hey, uh, what's going on with you? Is this the right time to be doing this? There's like a dead guy right below you guys. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they're hugging over a corpse! Oh no! And they're like, they're doing like a soft focus bloom effect. Yeah. Like, look at this romantic like, happy this scene. I'm like, like, they're on a corpse right now! Yeah. There's a corpse right there! This is like, this, <laughs> is, this is some weird, like, dark horror movie. <laughs> Where, like, the two main characters are still alive and they're in love with each other, and it's like, but everyone else in their team is dead. <laughs> and they're like, well, I'm glad we found each other. It's like, uh, there's a lot of dead people. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not making fun of her reaction, because her reaction fits. No, it's her just, reaction's fine. The direction is weird. Yes. So, like, look, 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 a tilty custom frame, and we're, she's gonna be crying, it's gonna do it, soft it's, focus. Yes. Like, this is like, and the music, it's playing, like, really nice music. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if Ace walked in right now, he'd be like, uh, hey guys, what are you doing? There's like a dead body here. <laughs> like, there's like, this is like the equivalent of like when like the room goes dark and there's just a spotlight on them. <laughs> we can still see the guy's just, arm from the spotlight. I'm so happy. They're really trying to hold this information back from us for as long as possible. Why? The body in the shower room, it, it isn't his. It isn't my brother. What? <gasps> I oh my have, god! I couldn't have seen that coming! How? What? What? I saw the arm and it had a broken bone! Oh my god! How could that even- And he, his face was smashed in! Yeah, how- And there was a broken bone! How does she know? But his face was smashed in! How does she know? And there was a broken bone! <laughs> how does she know? <laughs> And there was no number on the watch. How does she know? And his face was smashed in. How does she know? And there was a broken eye. How does she know? It's not Snake. Why on earth would you think that? Because his left arm is... I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. Uh, uh no. But... You what? Should. Just fucking say it. What's wrong with you? I shouldn't be saying this. This is very important information about someone not being dead. Yeah. He's still alive. I'm... I'm so happy! I'm so glad! Uh -huh. <laughs> Junpei, you were right! Huh? No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. Which also means that Seven and Santa did not kill Snake, but may have been working with Snake. Because whatever it was, like, they're not gonna accidentally kill the wrong corpse. <laughs> uh... At that regard, I would say it's Ace that helped. Yeah, it's, it could have. Ace makes the most sense because Ace is being super weird and suspicious with like the way he hid and everything. Yeah. And now we're establishing that apparently, like this room tells us that apparently the watches still apparently work. Yeah. Because what's the point of having a number on it if it doesn't work at that point? Yeah. So if that they, means they, that they would just turn off. That literally means that like when they went to go search so for then rooms, Ace, and Ace made the most sense. Yeah. Ace may, must have found Snake. Snake and asked they, him to do Snake, a plan with yeah, they him. Yeah. Plan with nine. Yeah. Which is why Ace took and the medicine. Snake went missing in the first place because he went back to get Nine's bracelet. Yeah. Which is why he was missing, and then he, yeah, Ace found him. They did the plan real quick, and no one's watching, and ta-da, that's it. Pretty straightforward. And they even had, he even specifically probably had the plan. I forgot the timeline. He might have even dismantled them all for the specific purpose of uh, making everyone scatter so he could do the plan with no one watching. But I don't remember what the timeline was for Ace arriving in that room and whether they were already broken and so on. But yeah, like, yeah. Ace makes the most sense. So maybe we'll get a revelation because Ace is here with us. Ooh. Ooh. Or we're going to get. remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Uh, that's... I... I only made it here because you gave me this. Uh, no, we... I was suspicious of everybody. I was angry and miserable. What? Wait... But because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... Yeah. We gave this to Thank her... Thank you so much, Junpei. We just gave that to her. Like, the last room we did, we just gave that to her. Yeah, we gave that to her pretty recently. We didn't just start the fucking game and we're like, oh, hey, you're gonna call yourself Clover, here's a fucking bookmark. Like, yeah. we gave that to her literally less than two hours ago. It's pretty- And, she, and it's she's pretty, like, I yeah. only made it here because you gave me this. No, you literally made it she this She just far. walks- all she's done really is walk across a few rooms, really. Yeah. Then everyone else does everything around her for her. Yeah, actually, she hasn't done anything. Yeah. It's like, I've only made here in that... What, were you gonna, like, hit your head against the wall until you died? Like, the first thing you see in, like, Dead Space? That guy... That, that's, the, that's the number one thing I remember from that game. Every time. is the fucking, like, the guy that's like, Everything's so fucked, I'm just gonna hit my head against the wall till I suicide. 
It's just like, that's, that's the worst sign of like, I don't want to be on the ship. <laughs> like, oh shit, this the game's just starting and that's the first thing you see. No. Oh no. I don't want to go further. Oh, uh, if you really want to thank somebody, you, you, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. Also, he probably didn't kill your brother. <laughs> and the words for each leaf? I got that from him too. Oh. Um. Uh. Uh. Huh? Ellipses, goddammit. I guess she's patrolling. She's like pacing. Did, did Santa really tell you those things? Yeah, he, he did. Are Santa and Clover from the ship? Saved by seven? Did I uh, say something wrong? Oh no, not at all. In fact, this could be really good news, I think. Is Santa psychic too? You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Subjects? What? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago, with my brother and me. <sighs> but he's blind. And I was part of the Nevada test group. So neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Nevada. Oh, so neither of these... Okay, so Clover wasn't on this boat. She was in Nevada, apparently? No, she was on the boat. She was part of the Nevada test group. Which was separated? It's a giant boat, Keith. They put him in a different end of the boat. But, like, she still recognized some faces, unless she was literally alone. She, but it's called a test group. No, yeah, I'm saying so that... So she'd recognize some faces. Yeah, I'm saying Santa is in a different test group. Yeah. So he, they would have never interacted, because they're... It's just, a, it's, just a weir it's just weird phrasing to say she, that neither of us would recognize the faces of the people on the boat. It's like, well, you'd, rec you'd recognize some. Well, she would if there were other people that were part of the boat. Yeah. But no, no one else is. It's just Clover, Santa, and Snake. Yeah. And technically... Or June... Ooh, plot twist. No, not June. Ooh, plot twist. Because June was, is too old. Is she? Yes. How old do they have to be to be freaking test subjects? Nine years ago, they had a god kidnapped to be put on a boat with a bunch of other kids. Yeah. What's your point? So I'm saying that June and Junpei would have been teenagers. Too old for that. If we are, how old do we think we are? We're like college graduates? Yeah, I'm assuming we're college age, so like... You can be a college graduate at like 22, so they could have been 13, 12... Still too old. Is they it? Were, they were taking children that were like under 10. Are we older than Snake? Yeah. Weird. Or Snake was right at the cutoff. That. Yeah. I mean, Snake could have been like literally 10 years old when he got taken. Huh. I'm assuming under 10, because if you're like, trying to if, develop if June, psychic powers, you always do it in children under the under pu uh, puberty age. I'm just waiting for us to find out that, like, June was, like, one of the test subjects, because, like, love interest girl twist, like, somehow, I feel like a twist has to happen with her, period. But also, like, I, I get the feeling that she, like, managed to, like, 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 tell, like, psychokinetically, like, just murder all the bunnies. I think she was the rabbit killer. And then she just, like, <laughs> they just destroyed them all. As a child Let that couldn't control her powers or something. This isn't a fucking mute, like an X Men story. We don't know. We don't, we have only barely, va like vaguely, like touched upon the concept of supernatural stuff existing in the game. We don't really know where it's going to go, not yet. The only tel like telepathic person is the mummy. You idiot. <laughs> but she is. She's isn't not. She, she was part of the test group. All the test subjects were freed, so no one knows who's fucking psychic. Also, I guess she can't be a very good psychic if she can't tell that her brother's alive. Yeah, she also can't. Who is like, also a test subject. She can't read anybody's mind. They apparently have no strong connection that tells you whether they're alive or not. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, time out. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You, you, you gotta start with one and then move to two and three and four and so on. What? Are you making fun of like. Movie so, tropes? this is a good example when we talk about the really, really, really redundant dialogue. He just said the same thing three times. <laughs> he just said the same thing three times. As if she's not gonna understand the idea of telling a story in order. So, I gotta give three examples of what she might mean by talking about something in, in chronological order. Yeah. <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> 
But the bone was sticking out. <laughs> How did she know? If you don't tell me stuff in the right order, I'm Fuck! never going to be able to figure it out. Four times. She said it four times now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's start with this experiment. Kind of five. <laughs> 4.5. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about morphogenetic fields? Nigga, morphogenetic what? fields. <laughs> like, what did she just say to me? It's, it's fine. All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. I think Lotus mentioned something like that. Did she? Hmm, telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. Wait, they're different? So testing telepathy on this ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The Nonary game. Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada, and the game started. Oh, she was literally in a building in Nevada. She's really neglected to mention- yeah, I was a building in Nevada, I figured as much. What the fuck? They really, like, neglected to mention that they were literally in another Nonary game before. Which is really- they could explain so many of the mechanics we know, that we're not entirely sure about how things work in this whole thing. Yeah. Because they could just explain everything, apparently. But they can't because, again, we can't talk to each other. Yeah, they, they won't just reveal that they've been in a Nonary game before. That's not relevant information. Uh, also, they, they kidnapped a kid named Nona to put in a Nonary game. I mean, at that point, it's just somebody's <laughs> obsession. Somebody was just sitting there like, Oh, oh she like, has to come. Was this person just Googling, like, people to kidnap for a Nonary game? And, like, this, he person's, wasn't just this person's name, Nona. He wasn't scrolling through I mean, Facebook. I mean, have to use that one. It's just too perfect. It's meant to be. It's Look, to be. I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. What do the Nonary game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. You know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem, and then the answer just kind of pops in your head? That's an epiphany. And what you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy. When you add danger to that equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So the Nunnery games are, are are invented to just try to in, uh, awaken telepathetic, uh, telepathic powers, basically. By putting them in a dangerous situation to try yeah. to trigger their powers. Basically, so you're yeah. you're saying the Nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger. They're, they're, they're pushing birds out of the nest, basically. Hope you can fly, fuck! <laughs> yeah, I but it couldn't be just any old danger. It had to be life and death. And, and, someone did actually die. A girl. Huh. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Uh -huh. Karen. Her name was... Or Connie, sorry. What, you're gonna say Connie? Yeah. Or Nona. How could it be, how could Connie be dead? You come back to life? Was she replaced by the mummy? The mummy's impersonating Connie. Ace. Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. Really? Again? Uh, weird. I seem to do this every single time I open a door. <laughs> Maybe I should just uh, stop opening doors. I like that whenever we join a room with people, we get that we we learn what their new primary character trait is, like how June just buys into really irritating conspiracy theories. Yeah. And Ace's primary character trait is to just walk in on people constantly. <laughs> like this is the dad that catches their kids masturbating, basically. Like this is that dad. Ace. Probably. You two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. We didn't even notice when you left. You just did, did, did it on your own this time. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? I'm having a little trouble, and I could really use your assistance. Uh, uh... Come on, it'll only take a moment. Last time you said that it was a ruse. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Wh why Last last time we did this to go through our clothes. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Hey, wait! Junpei, Is he just used to... what are you doing in there? Hurry up! 
Is he just used to like splitting up children or something constantly and like taking one away to talk to talk to separately? Like this, he's like apparently good at this. I think it's it's Papa Ace. 